Hi guys, welcome. We are joined by Lioness legend Farrah Williams. We want to know your all-time Lioness 11 that you've played with, so hopefully that makes it a little bit easier. But obviously, a lot of caps under your belt. Um, who would be your all-time 11? Formation for first. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going three at the back. Three, four, three, I'm going to go. Okay. Three, four, three. Who's between the sticks, firstly? Okay, this is difficult because I remember Rachel Brown and she was an unbelievable goalkeeper. I played with her for many years at Everton. But she was behind a phenomenal goalkeeper in Pauline Cope for many a years. So I can't not say Pauline Cope was England's best number one keeper that I've seen. Um, she had everything, literally everything. She was horrible to play against, horrible to play with. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just so good. Like her presence in goal, I mean... There's no key goalkeeper made like her now. The things that she used to do, like she'd twist your arm if you stood anywhere near her as an opponent and stamp on your toes. She just had everything up her sleeve. She's one of those that was that cocky. It went back to her, she'd do a couple of key ups before catching it, you know, because you could do that back in the day, pass back. Um, she just had confidence about her. She was just unbelievable. So she'd be my number one. Really? Right, I'm going three at the back. Right, centre has to be Anita Asante. Unbe honestly, probably, I, I don't... Listen, as a teammate, I never thought she was underrated, so everybody valued her so highly. It was just she didn't get the caps that appreciated how good she was, if that makes sense. So her caps didn't match up to the type of player she was because she was so good. Like when I talk about like, get your cigar out and I'm give me the ball and I'm going to just make the game look easier than it is, that was her. She would look, she'd probably, if she played now in the game today, the modern day game, she'd probably be the best centre half in the world because she had those characteristics. She'd like to step into midfield with the ball, could play with the ball, could find passes. Back then, when it was more of a direct game, her playing as a centre-half probably didn't suit the style of play yeah. back then because you had to be one of those, like, you know, hard-tackling, yeah. boot-it-long type players. So she'd look unbelievable in the modern-day game. Um, so Neats will be the centre of the three. And I know it's an unnatural position, but I can't not have Lucy Bonds in my team. Um, it would restrict some of her strengths in terms of bombing on. But we could get that balance right because I'm going to play a diamond in the middle. In the okay. middle, so we can get that right. So she'll do right of a three, and this is difficult. You know what? I'm going to go right to unit. Okay. Because honestly, she had a wand of a left foot, so she doesn't need to think about getting forward. She can just play, like a bit like Alex Greenwood. Mm -hmm. She had those qualities on the ball that Alex Greenwood has. Um, so there'd be my back three. Midfield, of course, I have to be at the base of the diamond, <laughs> okay? <laughs> For obvious reasons. I'm not going to tell you all the good attributes I have. <laughs> and I'm going to go Katie Chapman on the right-hand side of the diamond and Jill Scott on the left-hand side of the diamond. Yeah, they're, they're my runners. So when you play a diamond, you need people that can do everything. The they could have got to be able to get out and press yeah. quickly, get back into shape, be able to defend and be able to get forward. And those two had engines like no one I've ever played with before. So they'd be perfect in a diamond shape to make me look good. <laughs> and they'll tell you, they probably did all my running as a player anyway. In the top tip of the diamond, right, I'm going to go here. Kelly Smith is a 10, mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. Yeah, and you don't need to on that. Um, she's just going to find our front. I'm going to play with a narrow front for you as well. Um, we don't play with any width. We're just playing like the width of the 18-yard box, by the way. Um, Karen Walker as a number nine. I mean, and know Ellen White's got an unbelievable record in terms of goals. But when I first got into the England squad, I was like, who is this player? Like, she could, Kaz Walker could just score goals for fun. A, like, an unbelievable finisher. And the closest to her in terms of, like, scoring those types of goals was Ellen White. And obviously, she went on to break the record. So difficult, I'm leaving her out. But Kaz Walker was just, yeah, something else. So she'll be number nine. And then I'm going to go Fran Kirby on the right-hand side because she has to be in my team. Mm -hmm. um, so right of a front three, Fran Kirby. And then I'm going to go Rachel Yankee, absolute legend, left of my front three. And tell me if there's a team out there that's better than that. Because <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> there's nothing better, I'm telling you. I like that team. What a team. I, that's yeah, a really good team. Yeah, that's a really good team. Um, Anyone else want to compete with it? Let me know. I, I like the team you put together. And I'd, if, if you guys think you can come up with a better um, they can't. line at all star <laughs> team, <laughs> drop it in the comments. You can see what you think of those. They do. Mm -hmm. you come through. But thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow all of 90 Minutes channels for the content.